we are going to be studying negative numbers. And to start this, we're going to be looking at it in the context of temperature. Now, in South Africa, we measure our temperature in degrees Celsius. And the way Celsius works is zero is the point at which water freezes. So that's kind of our neutral point. Anything going up from zero, we're starting to get warmer and warmer. And anything going down from zero, we're getting more and more freezing and cold. In South Africa, on a nice hot summer's day, we're probably somewhere between 30 and 40 degrees Celsius. We don't tend to get terribly cold temperatures in most of South Africa, but certainly in winter, we can drop below freezing, go below the zero, and so we'll end up with temperatures like negative one, negative two, sometimes even negative three or negative four. Really cold temperatures for us. We're going to work with a simplified thermometer that just goes from six degrees Celsius to negative six degrees Celsius. All of these are actually quite uh, coldish temperatures. But what we do know is that as we go up, our temperatures get warmer. And as we go down, our temperatures get colder and colder until they go even below zero, below freezing, to get colder and colder and colder. So going up, we get warmer, and going down, we get colder. This makes it easy to answer questions like, which is warmer, 3 or 6 degrees Celsius? Well, the obvious answer to that is 6, because our 6 is higher up. Similarly, if we compare 0 and 2, then we will see that 2 is higher up, so it is the warmer temperature. Comparing negative 1 and 2, we can see 2 is higher up, so it's the warmer temperature. Now if we compare negative 6 and negative 3, even though those are both really cold, this negative 3 is higher up, so it's warmer. Similarly, if we compare negative 2 and negative 5, this negative 2 is higher up, so it is warmer. OK, let's do some calculations with temperature now. If we know it's 1 degree centigrade and the temperature must go up, in other words, go in this direction by 3 degrees centigrade, what will we end up with as our answer? Let's have a look. Well, the temperature is now 1 degree, so we have to go to 1. Then we need to go up by 1, 2, 3 degrees, and we'll get that we are now at 4 degrees centigrade. And we can summarize this by saying if we're at 1 and we go up by 3, we will end up at 4. Let's have a look at another one. In this case, we're at 6 and our temperature comes down. In other words, goes down by 4 degrees centigrade. Let's see how that would work out. Well, we need to be at 6 degrees to start and then become 1, 2, 3, 4 degrees down and we will end up at 2 degrees centigrade. We can summarize this by saying we started at 6 and we came down by 4 and we ended up at 2. If the temperature is 3 degrees centigrade and it must come down by 3 degrees centigrade, our picture will look like this. We start at 3 and come down 1, 2, 3 degrees, and end up at 0 degrees centigrade. We can summarize this by saying we started at 3, and we came down by 3 degrees, and ended up at 0. If we're at 1 degree centigrade, and our temperature comes down by 3 degrees centigrade, we can picture this as follows. You start at 1 and you come down by 1, 2, 3 degrees centigrade and you'll end up at negative 2 degrees centigrade.
We can summarize this by saying if we start at 1 and we come down by 3, we will end up at negative 2. Now if we start at negative 2 degrees centigrade and the temperature goes down even further by 4 degrees centigrade, our picture will look like this. We need to start at negative 2, and then we'll come down 1, 2, 3, 4 degrees, and end up at negative 6 degrees centigrade. We can summarize this by saying if we're at negative 2, and we take off a further 4, we'll end up at negative 6 degrees centigrade. Now, what if we're at negative 2 degrees centigrade, and in this case, it goes up by 5 degrees? Well, our picture will look like this. We start at negative 2 and go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and end up at 3 degrees centigrade. We can summarize this saying minus 2 degrees centigrade, start there, Add on 5, in other words, go up 5, and we'll end up at 3 degrees centigrade. Okay, now I want you to try some for yourself. In each of the following, you need to work out if you're at 2 degrees and you go up by 4 degrees, where will you end up? Um, or at 2, go down by 3, where will you end up, etc. I want you to pause the video now, try these in your homework book using the thermometer there to help you. Okay, let's look at how these should have worked out. If you are at 2 and you go up by 4, you'll end up at 6. If you're at 2 and you go down by 1, 2, 3, you'll end up at negative 1. And if you're at one degree below zero and you go up by go down by two you'll end up at negative three and if you're at negative one and you go up one two three degrees you'll end up at two degrees centigrade